the best short films for lifelong learning, recommended by teachers for teachers. This is Short Films Teachers Love, with your host, Richard Lee. Let's get straight to the first film which uh, you've chosen. It's called The Crayon Box That Talked. While walking in a toy store the day before today, I overheard a crayon box with many things to say. I don't like red, said yellow, and green said, nor do I. And no one here likes orange, but no one knows just why. We're a box of crayons that doesn't get along, said blue to all the others. Something here is wrong. The actual technique looks a bit, she said, like a PowerPoint, but in literacy terms, it's perfect because it's got the words on the screen. So I find that we can go back and pause on bits of that and the children can actually read off the screen. It's got that very simple technique that's used nowadays with the hand drawing things that you see in presentations and it's got a little bit of animation. And, of course, the animation looks like crayon animation. So it can't be too simple ever, this kind of film, for very young children visually because they're still learning how to read the media. A lot of the research I did in the past was about how much they understand. A lot of animations for young children are too fast, they're too noisy, they miss things. So this audience is for them, it's not for us. (laughs) And what's interesting is the first few times I showed some of these kinds of videos for very young children, they didn't understand them. I've got other titles that I've now put up into upper primary, mid-primary, because everything just happened too fast. So they get it with this. They get it about each crayon being different and being able to do something. And of course, in the classroom, it's perfect because then each child can do a crayon drawing of the things they're good at, the things they understand. And, you know, what other colours in the room could they join with to do metaphorically, to do things together? Yeah. All right. Let's go to the second film that you recommended called The Sandwich Swap, not The Sandwich Shop. <laughs> it all began with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and it ended with a hummus sandwich. Salma and Lily were best friends at school. They drew pictures together. They played on the swings together. They jumped rope together. And they ate their lunches together. This to me, this was gorgeous. So sweet. And I love, and this is my Aussie bias here, but I love the accent. But uh, it's um, so simple, really touching. Um, Give me the kind of scenario where this has been used that you know about. You may initially play and get along with people, even your own street and your own family, and there may be something that you just think is yuck. And this is where we get children to write down a yuck factor totally anonymously on a piece of paper and post it into a box. And the teacher can draw them out and read chosen ones only. Otherwise, you'll get so-and-so smells uh, at lower primary. So bring them out and talk about that. And again, even with their own family. So really, the end game with this is tolerance, even more than the box of crayon. This is all about tolerance. This one I found myself, I was looking for something that would be good for middle, upper primary going up that was animated and that was about diversity, difference, etc. The quality of the ad- animation is beautiful. And at that level, sort of year three or four right up, again, they could make their own story about that yuck factor or about someone they're friends with. And one of the most moving ones we had at a school was a very shy little boy and his best friend was obese. And he, for him, that wasn't a yuck factor. And he wanted to explain things about his friend. His friend actually had some sort of condition. It was so moving and the whole grade watched it. It was grade six, just loved it. You know, he had all the good things about him being soft and cuddly and so that led to a whole lot of other discussions. So it's not just about, not just about cultural differences. Mm. At this age, they're really open to learning those lessons about tolerance. I think as we get older, some of the doors start shutting. Uh, And that's where our next film, I think, comes in very well with older children. All right, let's go to the next film. So the next film is called Face to Face. 
Me and my mum and my two brothers, we are all um, Catholic, but my dad is not a, he's a Buddha. Buddha, but I don't really, you know, believe in him. But the only God I believe in is probably the goddess of mercy. Yeah, because the family convinced me in that. The, the area where the school, I think it was a number, about two or three schools, but and it is noted statistically as the most multicultural region in Australia. So that's saying something, yes. yeah. Yes. One of the Anglo boys in it says he's proud of getting a best friend from another country, sort of a badge of honour, which is lovely. Maybe having even two friends. And some of the children do describe being bullied or excluded because of their skin colour. And these are honest reflections, you know, about racism, which are picked up by the other children. And again, when this is shown in classrooms, that's picked up on. And I've seen children moving very uncomfortably around on their bottoms as they watch this because they've been the bully. They've been the racist. And sometimes they'll speak out about that. Sometimes they won't. But there's a lot of things going on there. Another thing is students listing their memorable moments from childhood. So if you've got a class of it may be all Anglo children, it might be mixed, to think about how you would represent your childhood, wherever you've been brought up, where you've come from. So where have I come from? I'm now in this part of Australia. It could be anywhere. Have I always been here? What are the things about living here that construct and define me? That's really important. So geography, society, culture, your peer group, your parents, everything. So this film is extremely rich. It can be teased out and teased out. And that's one of the reasons why I was very, really enjoyed writing the notes about it. And as I said, it's one of the most viewed films by my colleagues. Mm. They love it. Thank you so much for your time and for the wealth of links and resources and ideas that you always <laughs> bring whenever I talk to you. To listen to the full conversation, go to the audio version on SoundCloud or iTunes. To get more ideas for your teaching, join our new Facebook group today. All links in the notes below.